I heard it first, age seven. The day they called me Gollywog. And of the word passed these lips to meet mum's ear, a tear. And every time since then I'm back there, little boy lost there, wondering when I will grow up. Praying and praying and praying like that is ever enough that the world will too. Strange then that this was too my childhood's very end. There in an 80s living room as mum and dad and I have the chat. And my dad tells the tale, regales again and again in his final days on this here isle how only black in the village was a thing and how it was him. And how on a summer's day, no more than eight, a policeman at the gate came to tell his mum he couldn't go to the corner shop alone again. He hadn't stolen anything, but the shopkeeper, like so many back then, was not one for detail, except the simple single one that still holds us back. And later that evening, Granny and Grandad give my eight-year-old dad the chat. And I rehearse it with a girlfriend, same night as our first tiff, late on a date about 2003, the year, not the hour, as she suggests we hail a cab and a privilege hits me there, hits me square, hits me full force in the derriere. I won't be able to flag one here, I snap. Snarky implying maybe it should be you in the flooded gutter in your good shoes. And later that evening, as I'm cleaning her boots, she and I have the chat. And this is how it's been for generations, parents to their children, star-crossed lovers in explanation, in conversation in co after conversation, spelling out how being black, though having some advantages, will make you a target to some put you on the crosshairs of some, get you treated as lesser by some. And this is something a quartet of Carl Lewis, Linford Christie, Usain Bolt and Jesse Owens can't outrun. And it's a baton we're still passing. And this is me to you, my son. And that's how I have to give it to my boy. Say, so I hope the world will grow. So you never truly know this feeling of being so conspicuous and yet so small of representing an entire skin tone all on your own alone. Because I know whenever you feel the weight of that, it will crush you flat. And you deserve to only be on show when you choose to be. And now you're in a grown up in possession of our truth and I know you will hold it until it's due. But I hope and pray like that has ever been enough that this ends with you. And hopefully one day a black man merely putting pen to page will stop being a political act. But until then, we'll have the chat. <laughs>